Have you ever noticed that you keep going around in circles and none of your marketing really sticks or resonates with your audience? Now, this is because you have not stopped to take stock of what you're really good at and what comes naturally to you. Now, you also have to start designing your marketing around everything that you do so that it fits into your personality and your desired lifestyle. Now, if you're ready to escape the trap of working for money and being your client slave, strap yourself in because inside this video, you're going to find some massive wealth, time and leverage shortcuts used by some of the most successful coaches, consultants and small business owners on the planet. Now you're going to discover a new model of running your business that's profitable and enjoyable. What's up coaches, consultants, and business owners? It's Prosper here with Live Long Digital, the number one digital marketing agency for service-based business owners like yourself, where we help you build a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And today, I'm gonna walk you through your personal business style assessment. And well, I call it your personal business style because it's all about you. It's really rating the things that you're good at and the things that you're not so good at and the things that you absolutely love doing in marketing your business. And when you complete this exercise, you will be in a position to package, brand, market and sell your services and create a profitable and enjoyable business. Now, the purpose of this is to really find out what your strengths are and what your weaknesses are and what you like doing in the road to designing a marketable and profitable business. Now, before we check out how it all works, be sure to subscribe to the Live Long YouTube channel because you do not want to miss out on any of our amazing videos that will teach you how to make more money with less struggle. Okay, let's talk about the personal business style assessment and what exactly it is. Now, in your emails, I have sent you through the personal business style assessment. And I call it that because it's all about yourself. Now, this is simply the ratings of what you're really good at and the things that you absolutely love doing about your business. Now, the more you do the things you love, the more you are motivated to actually complete the tasks. You no longer have a long to-do list which never gets completed in the first place, all right? So we're gonna take a look at the variety of activities and I'm gonna ask you to rate each and every one of them whether you like it whether you don't like it or whether you'd rather outsource it to a digital agency like live long digital so we're going to take a look at a variety of activities and I'm gonna ask you to relate to each and every one of them now for example we would look at something like networking live in person okay I mean obviously we have just been through a lockdown and networking has been on zoom or something virtual and um you might have attended one or two of these networking events and I want you to actually rate yourself. Either do you hate this networking or you don't like it or you like it or you absolutely love it. It's a personal preference because some people really get anxious when they're around other people. And there's also... Um, you know, um, you know, some of the events that we attend to, maybe it's a BNI or it's some sort of other organized networking. It just doesn't sit well with with you. So, for example, we would look at things like, um, you know, um, how long did it take and what time does it take for you to attend the event, et cetera, et cetera. OK, if is that something that you'd like to go to often? And is that something that you really hate or you dislike or maybe you are uncomfortable doing or you rate that based, um, you know, on, on, on these criteria, either you hate it or you don't or you like it or you, you, you love it. You know what I mean? Because once you know 
then we can actually craft your marketing um, based on the type of uh, networking you're going to uh, attend. Maybe you are going to need an elevator pitch or you're going to need slide decks or you're going to need anything that helps you, um, you know, connect with people at a networking event or you're going to need business cards. So you see why all of this is very, very crucial in knowing the things that you absolutely love doing. And once you know what you love doing, it makes it super easy for you to know what activities in marketing that you need to engage in. All right. So if it is something that you like to go out and do or something that you really hate to do or you're uncomfortable doing and you'd like to rate yourself, um, you know, based on that, let us let us know and be truthful about this because this is about yourself. It's not about me. It's about you, you watching this video, you who is going to be marketing your coaching, your uh, consulting or service uh, based business. Okay, that's something you need to know going into business before we even design any programs or any services, because before we design any of this marketing, we need to know how you're going to be able to utilize it. So that's something you really need to rate um, yourself as well. So if you love people, if you love traveling, um, you know, some people like, for example, myself, when I started my consulting business, I really wanted to stay at home and I jumped onto the Zoom bandwagon before it was even cool. I was uh, connecting with people in, um, you know, social networking online and I was basically, um, you know, reaching out to them and asking to interview them. Now, when you interview someone, you create content with them. And when you create content with someone, you now have access to their audience because guess what? They're going to share that piece of content. I hated traveling because where I stay is about 40 to 50 minute traveling um, to the city and most of the events um, happen within Melbourne city. So I opted to make sure that I had so much of a online presence and a social networking presence. And I also perfected my skills to talk on the phone because I hated traveling for business. All right. You see where this, um, this would have been my, my, um, uh, tag would have been, I don't like traveling for business because it's just way too much hassle for me, but some people like to travel. So some people, for example, um, you know, if you're going to be traveling to go places, so you're going to make sure that maybe your car has the insignia or the, the design that says who you are or where you're coming from. Okay. Because my reason for not wanting to travel was maybe parking in Melbourne is stupid or maybe parking where you are is not the best, et cetera, et cetera. Plus, even though I'm speaking on video like this, I don't like to get out and speak. I don't like to go out and train people. I've got a lot of stage fright. And I've, I've always had this problem around me that English is not my first language. And I'm just like, what if I bomb in front of people? Okay. But I can speak on video like this. You know why? Cause it can be edited. I also um, did a stint uh, for about a year where I was appearing on videos every single day at 2 PM. AST uh, on Facebook Live. So I was, um, you know, I was doing virtual uh, conferences with people and that's how I used, um, you know, to connect with people. And I did a lot of Zoom, um, you know, activity, which basically put me in front of uh, a lot of audiences without me leaving my house. So part of what we need to determine is, is this something in your business that you're going to be doing? Are you going to be working locally? Are you going to be working virtually? Um, and how are you? You're going to be connecting with your audience. This is very, very, um, you know, important. And it's important for us to know what your preferences are, which makes it super, super easy for you to then decide how you're going to start your uh, business and how you're going to be reaching out to your audience. Okay. Because a big part of creating your own business successfully, I believe is also creating your marketing and you being authentic and present in that marketing. So it is making sure that your business that you're designing and the marketing activities that you're selecting fit within your lifestyle that you want. 
That's the only way you're going to enjoy this business. And I believe the only way you're going to be working around what you do. Okay. So one of the other things that you might uh, look into doing is maybe writing your own marketing and sales copy or a newsletter or a blog or a post. Now ask yourself, do you like writing? All right. If you're good at writing, then there's a lot of things that you can do um, with writing. And there's a lot of things that I can tell you that's beneficial if you're able to write. Because if you can write, um, you know, sales copy, uh, landing pages, et cetera, et cetera, any written information is like a salesperson that goes out there and connects with your audience. Okay. And when you write a little bit of a blog post, you can turn that into a video. You can turn that into you know, a podcast. So writing usually becomes the the starting point in any consulting, um, you know, business. And it's really one of the essential ways for you to communicate. So rate yourself honestly. Are you, do you like writing or are you good at writing or you don't love writing or it's something that you're, um, you know, you can always outsource. Because when you start publishing either a, a magazine or a newsletter, you'll find that it becomes easier for you to constantly tell your story because that's the most important thing telling your story and it doesn't matter even if people have heard you once twice three times four times the more you are telling your story the more it resonates with the people that you're hoping uh, to invite and start working with you and once that's in place, you can actually attract, invite, and actually influence the people that you are uh, going to be working with. So once you are honest and truthful about the things that you're going to be doing, either you're good at talking, you're good at writing, or you're good at video, those will be the criteria into which you now determine, um, you know, your message and how you deliver that message. Because some companies and some, um, you know, um, consultants just focus on creating the best product but before you have to do all of that you need to have a great tool to reach out for customer acquisition and people don't know how good you are until they become your client or until they start engaging with your content and how are you going to bring them towards you it's through what it is that you're going to be doing more of either you're going to be recording videos either you're going to be recording audios and podcasts managing business uh, details or managing, you know, um, you know, how your business showcases or reaches out into the, into the universe of people that haven't heard of you, people that haven't known um, all about you. Okay. So if you're good at video, that video can then be uh, chopped up into little pieces of social media content. That video can be transcribed into a blog. That video can also be turned and repurposed into a podcast. So figure out what it is that you're really good at and then outsource the rest. Because if you show up in a manner that's not influencing people, that's not encouraging um you know your your audience dreams that's not showing what your actual purpose is then grand opening grand closing you know what i mean um and and, and if you show up in your best light people will then um you know forgive you when you make a mistake on a podcast because they might have watched a really interesting video and now they're not looking for mistakes they're now looking out for value all right so figure out what it is that you absolutely love doing and those things that you don't like doing let somebody else who can do it cheaper better faster go out there and do it at the end of the day you know what you are capable of, you know what your strengths are, you know what your coaching program or what your, um, you know, consultation brings to the table. And wherever you're dis dispensing any sort of service, be sure to be of value. All right. It's a lot of the marketing that that I watch or that I see a lot of is just people trying to be what they're not. If you're dispensing advice and you're helping other people be, do, and have a happier existence, make sure that you do it in a way that is comfortable because you constantly have to show up and you constantly have to be out there um, making sure that you are delivering your gift to those that absolutely want it. 
my personal opinion is that a lot of clients are coming to you because they know that you've got something that they could use or you've got value that you can give out to them. And usually that takes a bit more than you just showing up, all right? You need to be able to consistently deliver on that value, consistently do it in a manner that's comfortable to you. And if writing is the way to do it, if, um, um, you know, videos are the way to do it, or if um, a podcast is the way to do it, you do you. So that's why this personal assessment is critical. And I want you to just download it again and make sure that you fill it out so that you plan your business meticulously and you are doing the things that you absolutely um, love doing and you're doing the things that actually will help you um, earn more money with less struggle. All right. So at the end of the day, just make sure all of these um activities are what you will um you know really really focus on before we go into design your signature program and we go in to pick the business model so that we can start marketing your business i'm going to be constantly referring you back to this completed worksheet so that we make sure that we're designing everything that fits around you and your personality and your desired lifestyle so this is a really crucial and important step take the time to sit down now so that you can honestly you know write out what it is that you're capable of doing and make sure that you are aware of what you can and what you cannot outsource and then this gives you a test of what it is that how you're going to be marketing your business so that it's profitable and enjoyable all right so there you go i just want you to trust the process with this one because if you start using the activities to to design your own signature uh, program, you will do it in a way that's comfortable to you and you will do it in a way that really, really resonates with who you are and where you are headed with your business. So now it's time to grab that personal business style assessment. And I really want you to go through that worksheet and complete it for yourself. And like I said, we are going to be constantly referring back to this worksheet because once we know what it is that you like doing and what it is that you absolutely love uh, taking care of within your business, then we just go out and do more of. There's no point in trying to get you to do stuff that you're not completely comfortable with and you're not completely um, happy with because you're not going to do it anyway. And if any if at any time you decide that the last thing you want to be doing is tinkering with your own marketing um, for your own business and everything else, I'd love to do it for you. And if you're ready to create a predictable, scalable marketing system that generates an abundance of new leads and you can nurture them effectively in an automated manner, I want you to click the button in the email and schedule a call with me. And then I'll see you in the next email. Thank you.